Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm back today with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club design team. I was inspired by the mood board of the month and used the September 2021 kits to make this page. So I start by cutting a white card stock with clear gesso to prepare it for mixed media. I then add a grid pattern that corresponds to an image of the mood board that comes from my razor. So I apply the pattern all over the page with modeling pasts. Once everything is dry, I add leaf patterns with the Eco Park stencil from the color kit and modeling past here and there. Then I add on top of the golden embossing powder and I dry everything well. This brings relief and a little brings side. And I do this several times in different places. To represent the three image of the mood board, I decided to include branches in my layouts. So I have a few branches vertically to the left and the right of my page. So I wanted to add small round flower to recall the shape of the apples on the mood board and so I use the basil, flamingo, pollen and mango from the cardstock kit for this. So with a puncher I cut a circle and then I cut it by making a spiral. Then with a quilling tool I roll the spiral and then I glue everything. And here is a small flower, very simple to realize that I like very much. And I made them in all colors and different sizes. Before setting everything up, I add a leaf pattern on the side of my page on the left in the center because I find it a little empty here. I can glue the pieces of wood now. I glue them with tacky glue and inert bind them as much as possible. I like to get out of the ordinary a little bit and I found this idea super nice and very different. I love it. So I make a wood pile on each side of the page.
I then prepare the photo and just add crumpled dressing paper and on it. I will then add some ink under the branches. I use Chimmel's Orwend Charbet and Vibes Mango Tango inks from the color kit. I start with the Mango Tango ink that I apply under the branches and I spray the ink with water to make it flow and I dry immediately and I start again to make the grid patterns appear. I love it and I do the same for the other branch cluster. So I don't want the background to be too dark. I add now the orange sherbet ink here and there to create shades and dry it all out. I can now include the paper flowers in the branches. So I made small cluster of three flowers here and there. I have previously selected some embellishments in the orange pink tones. So I add a few things here and there to give me an overview and I glue each flower.
I glue two tickets cut out of pink fresh studio paper. I love these little flowers and the mood board inspired color combo. It's very autumnal and very natural with the branches. So I continue to glue the flowers. When the flowers are glued, I added an adorable jeans pocket fabric die cuts from the main kit under the photo, as well as a piece of cardboard, and I glue it all on the branches. I also glued three cardstock stickers tickets directly on the photo and added three flowers on top of those tickets. I also add a few flowers in the right pile of wood to stick die cuts uh, stickers on it. I then created two titles with the puffy stickers alphabet from the pocket life kit and included puffy stickers words from the main kit to have different writings. I drew the phrases you are the best person and follow your dreams which I completed with clear stickers phrases from the pocket life kit. I add two round chipboard flare pink for studio from embellishment kit to the wood pile. So I then add light to this layout by applying white gesso with a thick brush by tapping on the flowers and branches. This blurs the colors and illuminates the page. It's very simple to do and I think the result is great.
I then add splashes of white gesso to harmonize everything. And I finish by stamping patterns widen everywhere with black ink for a little contrast. And here is the result a little closer. I hope you liked this layout and can be inspired for a future project. I really loved making it and using pieces of wood tapped with these little paper flowers. I love the result. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish you a great creative day. See you soon.